What's going on everybody and uh, this time we have another software update we have iOS 12.1.3 being officially pushed out for all of the compatible devices let's start with the iPhone review right now I already did go ahead and update my iPhone 10 to the latest iOS 12.1.3. This is what it looks like in the settings. This is the software update page with a size of exactly 300 megabytes. So this is that. But on this channel, you can also expect some speed tests of this particular iPhone having or running the previous and the latest version. So definitely stay tuned and click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss this and also the review for the iPads. So make sure you stay tuned. And and what this update actually bring you know it seems to be pretty big considering that it's just a 12.1.2 going to 12.1.3 let's take a look at the storage at first in order to let you know if you should be at least happy about something so here you can see that this is the 12.1.2 with the capacity of 64 of course available 959 megabytes whereas after updating to the latest version i get about one gigabyte back which is definitely something and we're not talking about a couple megabytes there's whole one gigabyte coming back so definitely a great thing about it so far one rumor or whatever you want to call it has been going on with the iOS 12.1.3 and uh, there was actually a new loading screen or loading indicator on the upper right corner of the screen of the new iPhone X or the iPhone XS slash XR and it looks sort of like this and we don't know yet what's going on with this maybe it's going to be available somewhere as you know some people were also writing posts about uh, that in China there is a new animation for the multi asking panel so you don't swipe up like this and you're not seeing this animation but instead it slowly just fades out and it just you know scales back and it, it looks kind of weird I'm not, I'm not sure how can I show it to you because I'm not in China obviously but uh, there is also rumors that something like this is also going to happen for example maybe in China as well but yeah this is what we know so far about it and besides that it also fixes a couple of issues for example it also fixes an issue in messages that could impact the scrolling photos some striped weird artifacts could be seen on the shared photos for some reason and also it goes in and it also fixes an issue that can cause audio distortion I mean I haven't really experienced any of these and I believe that you haven't either but for those of the people for the minority of the people that had the problem with this then they can be glad that Apple finally fixed that so this is something that you probably take a look at before you go ahead and update but you probably don't go ahead and look at the software security content Apple publishes every time they publish a new update but uh, as you can see the previous one was kind of weird because it wasn't supported on the iPads and, and it didn't have any kind of entries pertaining it so let's take a look at what we have with this latest one just like I said I definitely wait for the iPad review because there's some weird things going on right now so anyways here you can also read what exactly has been changed what impact was there and how it actually has been resolved in case you are interested in that I always mention it because these are the things that not many people care about but there are definitely some of them there are definitely some people caring about the security content behind the scenes behind the scenes that is actually going on with this iOS so this would be everything what I wanted to mention in this video there isn't much to know there aren't any extraordinary new features and or anything like that so i want to say thank you very much for watching i really hope you found this video useful and if you liked it then hit the thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it and for more content like this don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video peace out guys